Now that we've created our GroupMail sender account, we need to create a group and add recipients to it. To do this, open GroupMail and select the Groups icon from the top of the application. If you don't have any groups created yet, you can click here to create one, or use the New Group link from the left-hand side of the application. We're going to create a GroupMail group stored internally in GroupMail's database. Click Next, and as you can see, we're creating a new group stored locally in GroupMail's database. Click Next again, and as you will see, by default, GroupMail has a number of pre-populated database fields. You can add new fields that are associated with your own list. Once you're satisfied with the structure of your database, click Next, and you will see that GroupMail is going to look at the email field for the email address of your recipients. If the email field for your recipients is stored in a different field, you can select it here. You can also allow duplicate emails to be stored in your group by clicking on this box. Please note that if you do allow duplicate emails to be stored, those recipients will receive your message more than once. By default, this option is turned off. Click Next, and now we need to give our name, our group, a descriptive name so that we know who we're sending messages to, and then click Create. Now we have our first group created. Now we just need to add recipients to it. We can manually add recipients by double-clicking on the group and clicking Add. I'll add my own information here. And click OK. And our first recipient was added to our group. We can modify these recipients at any time by clicking Modify. We can also import recipients from external files. Either right-click on your group and select Import, or select the Import link from the left-hand side of the screen. We're going to import a comma-separated values file, a CSV file, from our computer. You can also import recipients from address books or databases. Click OK. Now we just need to find the file we're going to import and click Next. GroupMail automatically detects comma-separated value details. In this instance, it sees that my file has three fields, an email address, a first name, and a last name, and those fields are separated by a comma. Click Next, and select the group you want to import these recipients to. We only have one group created, so there's only one shown there. We'll check for duplicates and update any recipient details that are already present. Click Next, and now we will map the fields with GroupMail's database structure. To do this, we simply click on the blank space and map the actual fields from our list that we're importing with GroupMail's database structure. Once we're done mapping all the fields, click Next and simply Start to begin the import process. As you can see, four recipients were processed, three were added, and one duplicate was found. That duplicate was manually added prior to importing. We can check the status of our import by clicking here and looking at the log file. As you can see, three new addresses were added, and one existing address was updated. Now we can open our group and see that we have our four addresses in there. That's all there is to importing addresses into GroupMail. Next, we'll talk about creating a GroupMail message and sending it. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.